It's Friday! We actually got more snow than I thought. They predicted one to two inches. I keep saying more than I thought, um, like it's some great blizzard, but no. I mean, we've obviously had more snow than this, but uh, still more than we were expecting. So, not that it's good or bad or anything like that, but... I am going to read today. I promise. I don't know what I'm going to read, like I said last night, but it's going to happen. I so declare it's going to happen because I need to read. He's really late <laughs> with the buddy under his head. <laughs> One, I'm sitting at a weird angle because someone is sleeping in the crook of my legs and won't move won't let me move, I should say. And second, I sound congested and I probably look like crap because I was just crying. Um, nothing bad, it was just I was reading a book. Um, and this is, I think I, did I mention it before? I don't know. It's Dear Cassie, as you can see. And it is the, um, I, I talked about these before, but the first book is Pretty Amy. And then the 1.5, the novella in between was what I read two months ago now, something like that. The Next Forever, that was um, what I was the publicist on first. And now I'm the publicist on Dear Cassie as well. So I just read Dear Cassie and oh my goodness, I'm a wreck. Um, I knew this book was going to affect me because Cassie has a lot in common with myself or I have a lot of common with the character, however you want to phrase that. So I knew this book wasn't going to get to me, um, which is probably why I delayed it for so long. But it was really, really, really good. Um, the only thing that sucks is that I cried and now I, I'm going to sound congested for the rest of the night. Um, but obviously I'm fine now. Um, it's just some of the stuff in the book was tough for me to read because I've been there. Well, not in her specific case, but <laughs> but um, the way her, she thinks, her thought processes, and the, her defense mechanisms are definitely mine. So, um, amazing book. If you like young adult, and these are actually kind of older young adult, and now I'm the publicist on Dear Cassie as well. So I just read Dear Cassie, and oh my goodness, I'm a wreck. Um, I knew this book was going to affect me because Cassie has a lot in common with myself, or I have a lot in common with the character, however you want to phrase that. So I knew this book wasn't going to get to me, um, which is probably why I delayed it for so long. But it was really, really, really good. Um, the only thing that sucks is that I cried and now I, I'm going to sound congested for the rest of the night. Um, but obviously I'm fine now. Um, it's just some of the stuff in the book was tough for me to read because I've been there. Well, not in her specific case, but <laughs> but um, the way her, she thinks, her thought processes, and the, her defense mechanisms are definitely mine. So, um, amazing book. So these books are technically young adult. Um, Pretty Amy was more young adult than Dear Cassie was, I think. And the next forever is new adult. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's slightly older than young adult. Um, it's generally, um, it's hard to describe because there's a lot of different uh, definitions for it. But it's basically after high school, college age, somewhere like that, basically my age. Um, anywhere from, I guess, 18 to 25 is technically new adult, I think. I don't know, I'm not an expert, so don't ask me. But anyway, um, Dear Cassie was kind of a mix between young adult and new adult. Um, it could be categorized as either of them, but uh, anyway, if you like that, definitely take a chance. Um, the characters are really hard to get into until you understand why they are the way they are. They appear to be not likable characters, but once you figure out why they pretend to be not likable, they turn into likable characters. Uh, for me, at least. But anyway, I'm not hyping the books up on purpose. I'm hyping them up because they're amazing. And Lisa's writing is um, just, ah, oh, 
fantastic. I love her writing. And I'm not saying that just because I'm her publicist. I've, I've said this before. Her writing is just amazing. Amazing book. And I have to put together yesterday's vlog and go to bed at some point. So I'm going to go do that now. Hi, honey. You were sleeping. <laughs> yes, you were. Got my glasses off. I can't really see. So I'm going to bed because it's almost 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> so good night. And I'll see you in the morning when I'm kind of coherent or something. I'm going to fall off the bed. Good night. <laughs>